Hey there, everybody. It's Steve from Chief Skills. How are y'all doing today? I did a video recently on making kitchen hoods with a molding. And the, there were some comments about they wanted to know how you could do it with solid. So I thought I'd make a quick video. And believe me, I'm going to go as quick as I can. But it, this is time consuming. And I don't think you'd ever really want to do it this way. But there's some pluses. So let's just go through it and see what we got. The first thing I'm going to do is draw this in uh, in elevation. So I'm going to use a back clip cross section view. And I'm going to draw a poly, with a polyline. I'm going to draw something, say, 36 by 16. And I'm going to turn my snap grids off. And then so this I'm going to make the base first. And then I am going to open the library and find my molding. The CA21 show in browser. Right click place molding profile. And then I am going to pull the back square. Go point to point and move it to here. And then I'm going to copy and reflect about this molding. Then I'm going to do another polyline and I'm going to draw it like this. And I'm going to go say 4 by minus 16. There you go. And the next thing I'm going to do is click on this, go down here to this little star shape symbol and convert that to a polyline solid. And I'm going to make it say 96 inches long just to have it long enough. Then I'm going to click on each one of these moldings and I'm going to convert those to polyline solids. And I'm going to make those 120 inches long just for fun. Let's look at those. And let's look at them in plan view. And let's just center this on these other ones. I'm, I'm going to have to draw a reference line right here. Click on this large box and center it here. Now let's look at them. Now I got three pieces. And what I'm going to do is I am going to click on these two and make them solids and click on this and convert that to solid. And then I'm going to click on the box, come down here. These three little things are how you manipulate. And I'm going to do solid subtraction and click this molding. And then I'll click here and do solid subtraction and click this molding. Now I have like the reverse of the molding shaped into this solid. And I'm going to go back to the floor plan view. I'm going to click on, not the camera, Let's get this out of the way for a second. I'm going to click on this solid and I'm going to use transform replicate. It's this button right here. And I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then let's look at that. See what we got. It's it's fine. Let's just go over here and let's just move this down just a bit like that. And then I'm going to copy this right here and reflect about and put it right here and do that. Now let's see what we got. So we have three pieces. Now let's go to our cross section camera here. Let us pull this polyline to here. And then let's just go from there to the back. I'm using this polyline minus 22. And then let's just do this and click that there. So I have a solid here. I'm going to have a solid right here. I'm going to make it, I don't know. I'm going to make it 96 inches long for fun. And then let's look at it in 3D. There you go. So I am going to, I'm actually going to go to the floor plan view and center it on this line. There you go. Go to the th overview. I'm going to click on it and convert that to a solid. OK. And OK, what I wanted to do was to make this big box not as long as these as this box. And you'll see why I just want to actually I'm just going actually I'm going to make this box the size I want to make it. Uh, I am going to do it say I'm going to just draw a polyline here. Um, 36 by 72. 
and center it on my line and then pull this like this just so I can click on this and make this 72 and make this right there. And then I am going to use point to point and pick up a snap there and just pull it to there. Same here, point to point, just pick up a snap, pull it to there. And now in 3D, I can click on this, convert that to a solid, and then I click on it, polyline subtraction, and click this. Click this, polyline subtraction, and click this. Click it again, subtraction, and click this. Now I have my hood base. Take some paint. I have a stock color right here. Just paint it. Vector view looks pretty good. So there's our hood base, okay? Let's go back to the floor plan. Get rid of this polyline. Let's take our section camera and pull it back here and go like that. Let's open that. And then let's draw, we're in elevation mode now. We'll draw a box, say 22 by 60. And let's just pull it in just a little bit here like we did the other one. And then maybe move this to here. And then let's convert this front line to a curve and just eyeball it and curve it gently like that. And then convert curve to polyline. And I'm going to put like 80 curves and little nodes. All right. Now, this could be our hood. But the, what I need is the reverse of this hood. So I am going to do another polyline. I'm going to start right here and pick up this line and draw it out. And then I'm going to grab this and pull it to here. Curve this, this line, pull it to there till it snaps, and then do the same thing and put 80. All right. Now, what I want to do here is uh, this one here. I can think I can just convert this to a polyline solid and make it, say, 96 inches long. Let's go in the floor plan view. And let's center that on our box here. OK. Now I want to. So there you go. It's centered on our hood base. The next thing I want to do is in the section here is convert this the reverse shape to a solid. And let's make it 96 inches long. All right. And let's go here to the floor plan view. Let's look at it in overview first. first. OK. I see how it is. So I want to rotate it like this. And then I'm going to use point to point and pick up any line here and just snap to right there. And then I am going to, let's look at it first. So I'm see if I'm doing the right thing here. Yeah, that's perfect. You see what's coming together here, don't you? So I can actually make this a little smaller like that. And then I'm going to copy and reflect about right here. Copy down here. Hit the reflect about and do this. Let's look at it again. Make sure we're doing it right. And we are. Now let's convert this piece to a solid. Click on this piece, convert it to a solid. And can take this piece and convert it to a solid. All right. Then take this and polyline subtraction. Click there. Click here. Well, let's click on the top. Subtraction. Click here. Voila. We have a hood. And uh, let's just paint it. And there is your hood. Now it's not quite perfect. So I think what I'll do is, well, it's easier to move this. So what I here, here's what I would really do. I take this piece. Come down here and convert the base 
to a symbol. And the first thing I want to do is make sure I got it rotated right. So I'm going to rotate it on the Z until the back is there. And then I am going to put some stretch zones on it. Width right in the middle. Height about halfway up. Depth about minus three just along the back. As you can see. And uh, name it hood base a. a. Just do that for now. And then take this piece. I don't know why it, it snap. It's, it makes there you go. Do the chair and just convert it to millwork. And name it hood top a. And then let's just make sure it's rotated properly. There we go. Sizing. Now this is a little trickier. One right in the middle, of course. And then for the depth, I would make it uniform. Actually, I would make it minus three, like we did that, and then 22. Oops, minus 22. And then, let's see if I did that right. Yes, as you can see. And then uh, for the height, I just use uniform between 0 and 60. All right, click OK. Now go to the floor plan, place your hood, take your base, place your base, center it on your hood and use point to point right here in the middle to the middle back here. Take the hood and move it to the back using this symbol right here. Draw order. Click on that and then hit this one. Send it back. Now you can see it's not the right length, but we have more control here with this. So pull them right to the front like this. And then with concentric move, I don't know if you can grab the corner. I don't think you can. Grab the end, end here and say minus one. And grab the front here and say minus one. Then uh, take con uh, concentric off and just pull the back. And now if we look at it, now we just have to set the height. So I'm going to hit this and transform replicate and move it down 16 inches. There you go. They were, they were both set at zero in elevation when we pulled them in. So there's your hood, two solids, and then just click both and make a new symbol. Call it kitchen hood, final. And it should be in the right position here. Yes, X, Y, and Z. Let's size it. Let's check it out here how we're going to size this. Um, you might have to experiment with this a little bit, but what you could do on the height is go um, uniform between uh, 16 and 76 and just shape the hood and leave the bottom where it is. And then on the width, just in the middle, just like we've always done. And in the depth, I would do uniform and go between minus 3 and minus 23. And click OK. Let's put that in our plan right here. Let's, let's delete this for now. Now let's look at it. And here's our final symbol right here. And it looks pretty good. And then if we sh reduce the hood height, it doesn't change the base. It just changes the hood. See that? And we can change the width or make it wider. And we can change the depth. 
let's see how it works. It works good. So the depth does change this cap size. So I experimented with this a little bit, but you can open the symbol here. Oop, I'm sorry. And you can, oh, I see what's going on here on the depth. Oh, I have zero. That's right. So minus 25, say. There we go. Let's try that. There, see. Now with that, I, I had made a mistake. It changes the top a little bit, but it doesn't distort it as much as it did before. And you could even experiment with that a little bit more and just go like instead of minus three here, minus six, say. And now it will distort the top even less. See, it doesn't hardly move. So it is changing this gap. See right here with the molding. And um, so the depth is a little bit odd because if you don't come out to the front, you're going to distort this curve if you if I show you here. So if I only come out to say minus 20, let's see what happens here. Oh, it. Well, let's let me see what I did there. Oh, no, that's not right. So on the depth, say minus, oh, minus 20 is what I was going to do there. How about minus 21? Try it right there. There you go. So that works pretty well. So you might have to play around with your stretch zones to get them exactly where you want them. Um, but that's how you make a hood with solids. A little more difficult than um, making it with moldings, but you still can do it. And you can do some other things. Uh, I didn't do everything, but you can extrude some of the front with different molding shapes to give it a, a more elegant profile. You can even cut a hole in the bottom so you could put a hood vent in there uh, by doing um, solid subtraction. So that's a quick video lesson on hoods with solids. Hope that helps.